County commissioners are meeting to discuss the migrant surge in El Paso following the city's response overnight. El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser issued a disaster declaration that's now in effect. Now this comes as thousands of migrants are waiting across the border, but hundreds are already in El Paso. And ABC 7's Michael Courier joins us live. Yes, good afternoon, Nicole Brianna. I'm live at uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral, and you can see there are hundreds of migrants here currently, and even law enforcement here as well. And I want to show you that they are trying to take shade, as this morning they had the blankets and tarps and anything to keep them warm. And you can see now over on this side, it has passed over at the blocks of Sacred Heart Church. Is now they are on Father Ram Avenue as well. And Mayor Oscar Leisure states that the disaster declaration is done in preparation so that the city can start setting up shelters for the migrants. The mayor says the city will enforce local laws that prohibit camping in public streets and sidewalks. It's essentially tearing down makeshift encampments, but city police will not enforce immigration laws. The declaration allows the city to tap into federal and state funds and partner with the American Red Cross to manage the humanitarian crisis, according to city leaders. Some of these uh, asylum seekers, they're waiting for May 11th. May 11th, they believe, will be the day that they become without any documentation. They can come into the United States and continue to move on into their path into their, their next destination, which is, one of the, which is really one of the furthest things from really what's going to happen. And we will continue our complete coverage of the migrant situation here downtown for our shows on 4, 5, 6, and 10. But for now, live in front of Sacred Heart Church, Michael Courier, ABC7.